Hey guys, Jeremy with Dragon's Breath Glassworks. Um, we'll do a little uh, different video today. We're going to talk just a little bit about the tools. I'm not going to make a piece here. I'm going to talk real briefly about the different tools that I use in my shop. Um, for those of you who just enjoy watching glassblowing, this might be interesting. And those for you, of you who um, are trying to learn how or have just been blowing glass for a little bit, this uh, you might get some really useful information out of this. So, uh, of course, we have our real most important tool, our jacks. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about these in a video I'm going to do tomorrow, but uh, just so you can see, these are the jacks, the primary tool of any glass blower. Two blades connected by a spring, a back strap, and handles. Um, the spring is the back strap. Uh, but that's about all I'm going to say about those for the moment, because I'm going to talk more about those a little bit tomorrow, specifically uh, in a review video we're going to do for my new uh, jacks from uh, Cutting Edge. So. Let's take a look at these tools that I have out and kind of discuss some different things you do with your tools. Now over here on my right, um, I've got uh, tweezers. Uh, these are real basic. We've got two different styles of tweezers. Really, these are workhorses. You do just about everything with tweezers that you can imagine with glass. Um, lots of twisting of color patterns, lots of picking at the material, moving things around. The tips can get pretty chewed up the more you use them. I personally prefer real sharply tapered uh, flat tweezers, uh, but they do make concave tweezers as well with more like uh, claw tips. There's all kinds of different tweezers out there for different jobs. These are the ones that I get the most use out of. They're my small tools from Jim Moore. Uh, tweezers, that, that is. Uh, diamond shears. Diamond shears are another very specialized tool for glass blowing. Um, I've got a set of Jim Moore uh, small shears, and then I've got a couple different pair of cutting edge here to show you. The Jim Moore, as a general rule, are really basic budget entry level tools. They are almost always made out of mild steel. He did have a, a D2 line. I'm not sure if he still has that line or not, but these are the mild ones. Uh, these are his standard size handles, um, and they are fine for beginning. Better tools do not make you a better glass blower, but they can make it easier to become a better glass blower, having better tools. Um, and when I first started, I bought a whole set of Jim Moores, and I use, I mean, I still use the tweezers, but the diamond shears, I really don't use these anymore. They doled up really fast. Um, that's partially because I was misusing them, being a new glass blower, but also just because they're mild steel. They don't hold an edge for terribly long. The cutting edge hold up a lot better over time. These are brand new Dante's. Um, they uh, are like a hot knife through butter when they cut glass. They are just perfect for cutting. Um, these are my combo shears. I've had these for at least 10 years, and they still cut almost as good as they did when they were brand new. I've never sent them in to be resharpened or touched up. Um, I'm actually going to do that this December uh, once I have a little bit of downtime in the shop. Um, I would highly recommend cutting edge uh, tools. You also have other brands out there. I mean, uh, Carlo Donna gets a, has a really good reputation for really fantastic tools. He makes great, uh, they make great uh, diamond shears, but I highly recommend cutting edge. And, and onto the straight shears, they're very similar um, in that make. The mowers, uh, these hold up better than the diamond shears did. I still use these every day, and they're almost as old as my Jim Moore diamond shears. They're probably at least 13 years old at this point. These cutting edge straight shears are basically brand new. Uh, and again, just like the Dante's, they cut so smooth and clean. Uh, if you're looking for a dedicated trim shear, you can't go wrong with duck bills. These are both cutting edge. Uh, one is significantly older than the other. This is actually not mine. This is John's uh, pair, and he's used them for years and years, and they cut almost as well as my brand new ones do. I wanted to show these differently because I wanted to point out something about tools. It's not just the shape of the blades or the size of the tool that's important. Uh, the size and shape of the handle is really critical. John has much smaller handles on his shears than I do because they're a better fit for his hand. You need the right size tool for the job, but also for you. Having the biggest jacks, the biggest diamond shears out there is not necessarily the best idea if your hands aren't the right size to accommodate them. I have relatively large hands, and when I try to open John's duck bills, I can't really use them very easily. My fingers get kind of bound up. When I use mine, I have no problem at all. I have a much easier time controlling, and I would say the same is true for the cutting edge 
uh, handles versus the Jim Moore. These Moore standards are much smaller handles, and I have a little bit of trouble getting these diamond shears open. Uh, I work with people who really struggle to open up the big combo shears because the handles are so big and the blades are so long. So it really just depends on your hand shape and size. Uh, we'll help you determine the right tool for you. Um, if you have any questions about specific tools or manufacturers, let me know in the comments. I'll leave a link to both um, Cutting Edge and Jim Moore in my description. If you uh, want to know about any other specific tools, let me know and maybe I'll do a video on those. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate you uh, checking it out.